weathered, beaten, abandoned. If you squint long enough through the locks and the chain link fence, you'll see John McDermott and the small business he built over more than two decades. It just became an unsafe, you know, uh, location to run a business. Correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, you were sleeping there yep. because you were worried about your business. Correct. That chaotic month in 2020 led to the abandonment of the Seattle Police East Precinct I'm getting too old for this. and creation of the Autonomous Zone in a five-block area of Capitol Hill, <laughs> leaving McDermott to literally fend for himself a block away from the chop. No one responded to more than a couple dozen 911 calls. Our building, you know, was broken into and was lit on fire, and the guy, you know, tried to cut my son's leg open and stab him. The fire department was sitting literally at the corner of the block, but they couldn't come in because the Seattle Police Department wouldn't come in. If you dial 911, what do you expect to have happen? Where are the tax dollars, you know, that we're paying uh, to the city? That is why he and multiple business owners sued the city in 2020 to close the chop which the city settled earlier this year for $3.6 million, even though the scars remain. Seattle has now spent $12 million on legal fees and payouts related to the inaction that resulted in two deaths, four shootings, arson, and several alleged sexual assaults, a sense of lawlessness that dots the neighborhood to this day with graffiti, boarded up windows, and for lease signs, and continues to prompt new lawsuits just filed this month over lost revenue and emotional damages. Have you had any of those concerns since you've been here in Dece no, December 2022? But when this happened, of, you know, of course, I was aware of it on the national news. Mike Julian is the general manager for Five Iron Golf. With no concerns, no issues, and I don't feel like that any day. His company invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to create a virtual gaming paradise in the old value village space teeing off in the former chop zone in 2022. So yeah, it is a big swing, but um, I mean, I think it's really the right swing. He believes it can be an engine for redevelopment. Although McDermott is skeptical and thinks back to a selfie taken during those turbulent days by four sitting city council members. An emotional toll, a physical toll. Yep, financial toll. Financial toll. What's the legacy, do you think? Sadly, the legacy is that, you know, the, the current sitting city council, simply put, they destroyed the city of Seattle. They were elected to manage our city and to cause business to thrive, to cause safety to thrive. The government's here to protect and to serve the people. Uh, and, and not just their selected few that they want to protect and serve. It is why he said goodbye to that old lot near the East Precinct, where he put in more than just elbow grease for years. I'm 100% sad. Kind of what we found for us is that we were, you know, essentially starting over. And moved his car tender auto shop to Shoreline, far away from Capitol Hill, and the business that was built and then torn apart during that one month in June. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, Como News.